Hello, I'm Enchanted Moon, and welcome to my channel. I have a witchy unboxing for you. Triple witchy unboxing from the Witch's Moon. I got it all on the same day, so I figured why not do a triple unboxing. This is April's boxes. And then the first box is really I got for April. So we're going to start off with one of these, the smaller one. Let's see what this is. Ooh, first one is going to be the Witch's Roots. Witch's Roots. Mmm, for April. This is what it looks like when we open it. So our theme is the animal guide the animal guide okay so first off we have this big oracle card and mine oh, my favorite the snow leopard self resilience that's my favorite kitty cat and then we have a book of shadows sheet Animal guides. This is really cute. So we got one of those. And then we have our Book of Shadows for our herb this month. And it's a stragglers root. A stragglers root. There we go. And then the goodies inside. So right off the bat, we have Pa Duraco herbal tea bags. And then look at that pretty like lilac bag. I like that, a very pretty color. And then we have our astragalus root. And that's what it looks like. Very cool. Then we have this pretty purple bag. And this has hmm. I don't know. Some kind of jasper maybe. Maybe like a leopard skin jasper. Maybe. Oh, we got two tumble stones this month. This is like a gray silver bag. Oops. Gray silver bag. And this one has another, like Jasper, but I'm not sure what kind. Actually, this is not a gray. It looks gray, but it's like a greeny gray. And then we have our candle. Ooh, it's a pretty lilac color beeswax candle. Mm, pretty lilac. And then... Ooh, what do we got? We have a book, guys. Totem Animals, an introduction by Cecilia... Cecilia? Cecilia. Cecilia Gunn. So this is a first, I think, for this box that we got a cool book on totem animals. Pretty, pretty cool, guys. Up, oh, and we have incense, Luna incense. Luna. Mmm, smells good. All right, so the thing that, that we normally get in here that we didn't get is oil. Our ritual oil. That's fine. I love that we got this book. Something different. I sat staring into the landscape, feeling as if the world rested upon my so shoulders, tempting to block out the noise of inner anxiety and fear. I began to breathe intentionally. 
enough for a moment of meditation to wash over me. Slowly, I could start to hear the chirping of nearby birds. Up above, a crow swooped down, swooped through the clouds as if descending from the sanctuary of heaven. I exhaled darkness and inhaled the divine. As I looked down to my feet, a white feather gently appeared. This, a single feather, filled my soul with a bounty of comfort I so eagerly needed. I reassured, reassured myself that my guides were nearby, watching with subtle care. In this unique and charming collection, we work with our animal guides, learning how to be open to their influence, seeking their signs, and calling upon their aid. May the ancient wisdom of our animal guides find us when we need them. So, first item in this box is this follows the astragalus root. Has been found in tinctures and herbal remedies for thousands of years. Truly powerful aid for the body and spirit. Astragalus root is known for its protective qualities and outward resilience towards dispelling unwanted attachments. Ooh. And it goes into a little deeper, but we don't need all that. Astragalus root. Book of Shadows Sheet by A.E. Alden. And then, of course, the Totem Animals book, an introduction, soft cover. We are thrilled, so thrilled to be able to include the Totem Animals book. The introductory book is filled with wonderful assortment of information regarding animal guides and how we can connect with them on our path. From finding your guide your animal guide to strengthening your connections. This book provides the groundwork for you to enhance your craft, the assistance of spiritual companions. Then the animal guides book of shadows artwork, of course, by A.E. Alden. Then the pod de arco herbal tea bags. Is native to South and Central America, where it has been used for centuries as medicinal companion, commonly relied upon for its treat treatment of inflammation, inflammation, infections, and more. This also helps us connect with our guides and ancestral watchers, also known for attracting good luck to the user. And then in the gray pouch is tumbled. Picture Jasper, a very contemplative stone. Picture Jasper is known for its ability to guide us towards the rightful place in this world, opening the space for us to sort through our current situation so that we may find ourselves attached to the seafloor. Filtering plank plankton for its nourishing nourishment, the fossil promotes change and healthy transitions. I don't know if I, I read that wrong. Tumbled Gray, I read you the information for the, this one, Purple Pouch. It's called Crinoid Fossil, Purple Pouch. Fossil is commonly used for intelligence for protection and mortality, referred to as a sea lily. The crin crinoid fossil is the materialized form of aquatic organisms, which originally attached itself to the seafloor, filtering plankton for its nourishment. This fossil promotes change and healthy transition. This guy is known for its ability to guide towards us to the rightful place in this world, opening a space for us to soar through our current situation so that we may find positive growth upon the horizon. And then the Luna Incense is to help us with energies of relaxation, tranquility, and mindfulness. Our hand-rolled candle is called the Open Mysteries. The spell candle has been hand-rolled for you to use during contemplation as you allow the flame to cast and dance shadow work to formulate a connection with the animal guides that surround you and your space. And our oracle cord is from the Spirit of the Animals. Spirit of the Animals oracle deck from Jody Bergsma. 
a new deck. So that is April's, which is Root's box. I absolutely enjoyed it tremendously because it came with different items, especially the witch's book. I love to get book in boxes because I love books. And it's something different. You gotta change things up. Otherwise, to me, it gets stale. All right, so. Next one up is the Witch's Bounty for April. The Witch's Bounty. Okay, the theme for this month, April, Witch's Bounty, is called the Wisdom Keeper. The Wisdom Keeper. Look, more beautiful owls. Book of Shadows. She is absolutely beautiful as always. Beautiful. So we have our beautiful art. We have a beautiful purple bag here. Iridescent. Let's see what this has in it. It looks like to me some kind of amethyst or it could be purple fluorite. Not 100%. We have our oil in here, ritual oil. And this one is called the Crown of Wisdom. The Crown of Wisdom, and it's in a blue bottle. Crown of Wisdom. We have our incense sticks, which is called Dark Opium. God, so good. Dark Opium. We have our Enchanted Beeswax Candle. Ooh, another lilac. This one's lilac, and it has these pretty um, sparkles on it, if you guys can see that. Yeah, it looks ooh, really pretty. Very cool. Mm, and it smells delightful as well. And these colors, these are purple, blue, and pink. Really cool. We have a black. This one's gray. Black cord. Can I open it? Yeah. Black cord, as always, with our sterling silver lobster claw clasp. And then for the main... We have this pretty silver box. Whoa, look at that. That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful owl in flight. But on top, it looks like maybe Moonstone. Let me see what the top says here. We have Sterling Silver Pen. Yes, Rainbow Moonstone and Angel Aura Quartz. So there's got to be... Angel. Ah, I see it. An Angel Aura. I'm assuming it's holding on to Angel Aura Quartz right here. Beautiful. And then Moonstone on top. Isn't that absolutely stunning? Beautiful. Really gorgeous. As always. They always do a beautiful pendant. Among the sounds of crickets and rustling branches in a particular, is a peculiar sound. It is the who of the owl, single in its presence, as if they're communicating to spirits that we are unable to hear with our own ears. It is within the darkness of night that this muse of mystery resides, connecting to the higher and lower realms. As it pushes off its branches, it glides effortlessly into the black abyss of midnight. It 
in this wonderful, beautiful, and unique collection, we work with the energies of the owl, connecting with its mysteries and prophecy. As one of our favorite collections to date, we truly cannot wait for these to reach their homes. The magical items in this box is as follows. Like, this is absolutely beautiful. In flight, grabbing onto the aura quartz is just amazing. Every year, as the sun begins to grow stronger in the sky, we are visited by three owls. Great horned owls. We find them perched in the same area each year, as if they find safety in the wild trees that grow nearby. Each morning, we will go outside and inquire about their visit, asking them for guidance throughout our day. They watch us calmly, all-knowing, and as still as a stone. As sti and as still as a stone. As one of the most magical creatures to soar the skies, the owl carries a very potent and powerful impression. Although commonly associated with mysteries, the owl represents wisdom that is passed from spirit from the spirit realm to those who are receptive to their guidance. These stunning birds are most active during the moonlit hours of night, hence their association with the underworld. If you are lucky to see one, know that they are is a message waiting for you from the other side. This may be a sign that your intuition is close to revealing a new truth that is vital for your growth. As you grasp, as you can grasp, we are, we're over the moon to bring this project to life as it resonates so deeply in our personal path. The owl featured in this pendant is crafted in 925 silver with the wings spread open. It carries a single piece of angel aura in its talons. A beautiful stone is created through special treatment process in which the surface is bonded with vaporized silver and platinum. The likeness of resulting color is strongly associated with the wings of an angel. As a conduit, the angel aura connects us to the higher beings, angelic protectors and spirit guides. This stone is placed in the talons of the owl, representing messages that are meant to reach us from the other worlds. As you work with the stone, allow your judgment and perceptions to fall away, providing a space for a clear reception to be active. Above the owl sits a crescent moon cradling a rainbow moonstone. Moonstone was used in Roman jewelry almost 2,000 years ago and has been held high regard through the Orient and India. It was once said by placing moonstone in your mouth while meditating, one would have the ability to see the future. As one of the most powerful intuitive stones, Moonstone has been the stone of the goddess and the feminine energy she is associated with. The beautiful rainbow Moonstone in the perfect companion is the perfect companion while working with through working through shadow work and self discovery. That was amazing. Then the crown of wisdom anointing oil has been blended to create you and a companion on your path towards more intuitive life. Anoint your magical tools, talismans, and amulets. Allow the elements to clear away your distress and opening the portal towards higher wisdom. This oil has been created with clove, mugwort, jasmine, in addition to a few drops of their wisdom guide oil, have included oils of jasmine, sage, and lang lang. Then we have dark opium ritual incense before you fall asleep encourage encourages visions and prophecy prophecies while you dream if you like this incense before you go to sleep then we have the hand rolled beeswax candle the midnight messenger spell candle has been hand rolled for this specific collection on the night of the full moon Place your pendant on your altar nearby. Allow the flame of the candle dance before you. As you meditate and bask in the glistening stillness, listen intuitive, intently for your messages that will fill your mind. This is considered rough amethyst. The energy is carried with you to purify your nervous system and bolster your intuitive perceptions. And then... A black cord to go with our necklace and of course our moonstone and angel aura book of shadows sheet by a e alden 
So what do you guys think of this collection? Oh, the owl in, is just beautiful. I just, I love all their pendants. So it's just really, really nice to have a, a familiar or spirit guide totem um, pendant instead of, you know, just, you know, different shapes. It's, this is really pretty cool. I absolutely love it. I always, like I said, always love their pendants. All right, so now we're going to move on to the Witch's Moon. Which comes in this box. All of them are come in different packaging with the magical box on the side for your, I guess, if you don't want nobody to know about what you get in the mail. It's basically hidden for your privacy. So this one is our Witch's Moon box for April. Again, I don't remember the theme offhand. But we were going to see what magic lies. Oops, everything's falling out. I gotta find the theme. The theme is ah the sea witch talisman. The sea witch talisman. Okay, so we have this beautiful oracle card. Look at the back. Isn't that beautiful? The sea turtles. Number 13, gliding through currents. Ooh, pretty. That is really pretty. Is that a skeet? I don't know what that is, but we'll find out. Then we have our book, Shadow Sheet. Beautiful symbols of the sea. This is really beautiful. And we have another small one, too. This one says Sigil of the Sea. This one's got a shining in. This is more matte. Both beautiful Book of Shadow Sheets. Beautiful. And then we also have a big one. And this one says the witch's not witch's ladder. Oh no, the witch's ladder. The witch is latter. I have one of these beautiful babies somewhere in this house. Which is ladder. This is really cool. This is what I see. So, first thing on top, we have yarn of peace. Pretty blue yarn of peace. Then we have, oh, these are different colors. Yarn of Grounding. We have Yarn of Wisdom. Purple color. Yarn of Healing. And this is like a bluish color. Okay, I think that might be all the yarns. Then we have this baby, which is a blue beeswax candle. So we have our blue beeswax candle. This is a big guy. Mm. Pretty colors all in here. Blue, blues. I see lots of blues. We have the Siren Song. Some kind of herbal mix. Or it could be just a plain herb, but... No, herbal mix. The Siren Song. Then we have this blue bag here. This is a pretty colored blue, too. It's like a turquoise blue. And we have... Pretty rough stone. Ooh, that is really pretty. 
really lots of sparkle. Glitter. That's nice. I have no idea what that is. It's very beautiful. Can't wait to find out what that is. I got a big bag here. All right, we have, whoa, this is a first item right here. This is big, big bottle. Let me see if I can figure out how to open this big bottle. Right, here we go. Ooh, Rosemary Ocean. We got this blue, this blue. This brown plastic bottle. And mine says Rosemary Ocean. Rosemary Ocean. So it's got a big... I thought my mind was quicker, but the, the label is a little wonky. But it does say Rosemary Ocean. And, okay, Ritual Spray. It's big, it's huge. They've never made a bottle that I'm aware of that's that big. So, wow. A lot of new things going on here at the Witch's Moon. And then we have Protection Ritual Incense here. Well, I want to see what this smells like, guys. I'm sorry. Ooh, that smells good. And this is our last item in this blue, big blue, like silverly, silver, so that didn't tell me, silver blue, that's what I'm going to call this, a silver blue bag. And it's loaded with shells and some wood here. So let's see what's going on in this bag. Whoa. I don't know if this is together. Oh, it's it might be already together. Let's see. It is, guys. All right, this might be the top. I think. Yeah, we have the brown the uh, hook here. So this is gonna be the top. These little shells here it looks like teeth. Oh, that's a turtle. Let's get a turtle, guys. A little sea turtle here. And over here, we have some kind of, or a shell. We got some beads in there. Let's, let me see if I can get this up and out. Whoa. Let's get this unknotted somehow. Let's see. It's gotta be a way to unknot this baby. Give you a glimpse of this. Oh, here we go. This is round number two. We got some shells, some more beads. This is number three. Okay, and here comes number four. I think if I can get this rattled here. Uh. feathers here with the big conch on the bottom. Wow, that is really pretty. The witch's ladder. And that's very big, guys. And very beautiful. I never had a witch's ladder, seal ladder like this. This is really pretty. Okay. The brilliant glow of the moon rains down upon her as she steps into the familiar waves. A sudden rush of peace and tranquility washed through her as to fill the void where anxiety and despair once lived. She no longer feels alone, but rather senses that she is surrounded by 
an abundance of dancing spirits and whispering words. A true sigh of relief escapes her lips. Standing within the warring waters, the she stares into the face of the moon, opening her arms to embrace her. She begins to sing the sacred song of the sea. In this in inclusive, one-of-a-kind collection, we call upon the mysteries of the watery fortress to aid us in our spiritual and intentional growth. This anticipation to finally bring this collection to our subscriber truly fills our hearts. May the items in this collection find the souls that yearn for change and triumph. That is absolutely beautiful. The items in the box are as follows. So we're going to start with the Witch's Moon exclusive handmade Sea Witch Ladder. Placed within a large drawstring product, you will find the exclusive handmade Sea Witch Ladder crafted for this specific collection. We kindly recommend beginning carefully as you retrieve this item from the pouch as you may need to delicately untangle some of the shells and, and chains. As a true labor of love, this creation of the talismanic item has been in the works for over a year and is finally ready for you to include in this in your sacred space. The Witch's Ladder has been a favorite of ours over the last de decade, specifically with many hanging throughout our home and ritual spaces. As we pass them each day, we are reminded of the intention originally placed in each aspect of the ladder and can sense the subtle support and protection animating from their form. We have inspired to create the, this witch's ladder from our deep respect and connections from the sea, continually pull us, pulling us into our mystery and magic. When working and contemplating the elements of water, we are transported into the formless an everlasting void of thoughts and emotion. As we journey through these feelings, we are reminded of the deep reservoir and intense emotion found within this, our souls, always brimming and splashing with the uncontrollable dance. We pull inspirations from this well. We re rely upon its wisdom as it guides us towards us, towards us more feeling and more purpose-filled life. As you work with this witch's ladder, allow your natural elements to remind you of the wonderful bounty that is always available to you. For within these energy is one of the sources of your power, the power to heal, the power to cleanse, the power to protect. As stated in the beautiful accompanying witch's ladder, shadow, Book of Shadows artwork, the witch's applications, such as spell casting, protection, divination, etc., were creating it or adding to the witch's ladder. The possibilities are endless and can be tailored to, to specific intentions. This ladder is a base to which you can build your journey upon. We encourage you to include items that you may feel are needed at this time, representing the aspect you wish to be inflamed on your personal path. Some of the items that you can, that you will originally find included are driftwood, wooded beads, sand beads, cypress trigger shell hanging on the bottom, as well as a variety of different seashells representing abundance and overwhelming gratitude. Those shells are considered amplifiers and containers of energy. In addition, acrylic beads and ethically sourced feathers have been included. It is our deepest intention that the Sea Witch Ladder adds power, protection, prosperity to your path. May its gentle movements be a reminder of the unseen forces at work, gently guiding and supporting you to conquer your goals and creating a new life. Wow, that is exciting. So the following items have included to tie upon your Witch's Ladder. To begin, you can formulate your own intentions. We encourage you to write these down when tying your yarn to the ladder. Speak them clearly and convict with conviction and power. You can. This can be stated for each knot that is tied into your yarn. Or you can have a different intention for each. There is no right way or wrong way. It's important that you do it your way and the correspondence yarn the corresponding yarns are as follows. 
Your oh geez, sorry. Hey! No, 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 no. You got yarn up piece. Where'd it go? Oh, you're in a piece. Don't we? You're in a piece is dark. Oh, here it is. You're in a piece. Then we got the healing, wisdom, and then the grounding. There's four here. And there's different affirmations for each of them if you choose to use so to tie upon your witch's ladder. Then we have the Witch's Ladder <laughs> Book of Shadows by A. E. Alden. Okay, and the, the Symbols of the Sea Book of Shadows. Yeah, Symbols of the Sea Book of Shadows by A. E. Alden as well. Then the Hand Rolled and the Anointed Spell Candle is called the Inward Well. They have created the inward spell candle it's for you to connect with the pure essence of the sea, allowing you to be filled with the emotions and inspiration of healing. This space that the space that this candle grants is meant for you to understand and contemplate your deep connection to the water bound energies of this world. So we have that. Then it has the sigil sea book shadows artwork also by A.E. Alden. This created a specific collection has been included with this artwork accompanied is a simple mantra that can be recited during your working specifically designed to attract the beneficial energies of the sea. The sigil represents our connection to the watery influence of our that our body holds within. The Rosemary Ritual Spray, eight ounces, a delicate blend of rosemary, peppermint, spearmint, accompany the wonderful aroma in this ritual spray. This special elixir has been crafted to purify the space around you so that yet you may perform your rituals and workings with a clear and focused intention. May the healing that is provided with the spritz of this spray wash over you like a waves of rosemary ocean. One or two spritzes around, before, or after meditation or ritual. The protection ritual incense. Doopy doopy doot. On dances through the witch's ladder, known for protection is here. The space that now acts like a vacuum for creation. Allow the aroma to fill your room to bring comfort to your mind, body, and soul. The siren song ritual herbal blend this very special ritual herbal blend has been created with your chamomile peppermint clove licorice root place upon your altar or scatter in the corners of your sacred space to promote healthy creativity protection and a bolstered sense of inspiration and there's also an affirmation to use with this in the paperwork then we have, this is called Rough Pre-Night. To find union between the heart and the will can be a strenuous task. With gentle support of Pre-Night, we're able to foster the union through bringing stillness and peace to our inner worlds. So this watery stone allows us to silence the egoic, ego, egoic, mind and focus our intentions on true matters of the heart pre-night pretty cool and then our personal oracle reading is from whispers of the ocean oracle deck by angelina hartfield and of course they always give us an extra piece of paper for us to write down rituals, spells, or whatever you wish to do. So what do you think, guys? This was an awesome collection. It really is. It blew me away. I love when they make things for the boxes. They really always have to do themselves. This is great. I don't have a witch's ladder. I love that it's a sea witch ladder as well. They give you the yarn. So you can tie your intentions on. I just love it. I love that they made a big bottle here. That's something different. 
I love the changing of things as well. Let me know, guys, what you think of April's boxes, the bounty, the roots, and the witches mode. And thank you guys for watching. Have a blessed day.